Hello everyone. New Year's has came and went. It is 2016. Just in case you didn't get the memo I didn't tell you earlier, I was able to be in Vegas for New Year's. Well, I live in Las Vegas, so it's pretty simple to be there. I just sat at home, watched it all on the TV. I've been out there on the strip, crowded people, yelling and screaming, drinking, having fun. It's enough. I have done it well enough. Alright, today we are going to be doing the vertical lathe. No, the vertical milling machine. Yes, vertical milling machine, finally. I've been waiting for it for a long time. And uh, there are a few configurations. We are going to do the basic configuration. So grab your book and flip through the pages until you can get to page 136. It starts on page 136 of your book. Here are all the items that you are going to need. I will uh, start the list. Let you gather all those items and tools, and we'll get that taken care of. There's a lot of them. You got them? Got them all together? All right. Good. The uh, first thing we should work on is the long piece into the connectional piece. So these two guys right here get to go together. The uh, a dual slot nut slides in there to hold those two together at first. Let's uh, not preload this slot nut. Well, let's do that. I have a little problem with this little bolt falling out of this slot nut. Then it gets all crooked and can't screw it in. Started on this slot nut and we're able to slide it into the center one. Slide it over. Slide it into its proper slot. Possibly. Come on, man, slide. Take it off here and see what we're doing. If you screw these screws in too far, it stops it. Yep, today I plan on doing plenty of mistakes and building this so that you will learn from my mistakes and we'll be able to do it without a hitch. So we'll slide that in there. Put it in the middle one. Now because they don't think that this is going to be strong enough to hold it all together, they want this L bracket in there. So, you can load one slot nut on there. But because one goes one way and one goes the other way, you can't put them both in there. Because then you wouldn't be able to slide it in. Now I could now put this to the table, but there's so much more stuff I gotta put on there. I'd have to move all this off of the table to put it there. I'm gonna hold off on that right now. 
So next, let's build the uh, motor assembly to have the motor assembly spaced out enough. We have to put this spacer block to this cross slide. And this is usual, we've done in previous videos, taking these cross slides apart, mounting things to them. You just screw that slide out, get the slot nuts in there. I'm going to see if I can get away with only putting two slot nuts in here, holding this well enough. Yeah, I think so. i got to square this up. Make sure that's squared up or else things are just going to be sitting a little cockeyed and probably not going to be good. Better fix it now before you have to take it all apart again and get it straight. There we go. Squared it up. Tighten it up. Make sure the plastic tension guide is there and remember the brass threaded end goes first. Slide it in. Turn it in the center. Alright, now to put it to the motor, which, kind of look at the illustration there, the drive shaft is on the inside, not sticking out, not away from the drill press per se, but on the inside. And you want to do that, oh, no. because the uh, vise is not going to stick out enough. And that slides onto this end of the cross slide. So you have some adjustment with this. And also you want your, I don't know what they call this, your spinning end up top instead of down below right by the drill or by the milling bit to get your fingers. Want it high enough up so the uh, thing will turn. Tighten your connecting piece. Check to make sure it'll turn. There you go. That on the inside. We're going to connect it to this later when we get this to stand up. Let's put the vise on the vertical and cross slide. Let's preload it with these slot nuts. Now it looks like every single one of my screws for these slot nuts is too short. Please bear with me, let me get my excess parts and uh, grab me longer ones. Take one of those, one of those. These are so long I might need a washer in there. That was too long. I want you. Those two. Keep these here. Just in case I've screwed up again. Not that's long. Please bear with me while I'm trying to aim these 
screws in these holes and the screwdriver into the screw heads. I got a blood clot in the central retinal vein in my right eye which filled the eye up with blood and makes it all blurry and crystallized so I can't really see out of that. So I'm working with really one eye so my depth perception is just terrible. I've got to guess where everything is at. It's fun, you should try soldering little wires with one eye. Come on, screw. You want to get your fingers down there to help feel where you're at, how your alignment is, but your fingers don't like the soldering gun or the hot wires, so it's tough. It's fun, gotta live with it though. like Vegas, it's the hand you got dealt. Alright. Make sure that that is on that side. You can't screw with it. The tower is in the way. There you go. Another free mistake that you don't have to do. I got it for you. Don't worry. We'll get this thing together. All right. Two connecting pieces hold this to that. It does not go on top. It goes down there. Slide your connecting pieces in. This, you don't want that lock there. You want the lock on the other side so you can get it squeezed in enough that you can hit this short point. So no locking those out. Make sure that they can get in there. lock things. Put the connecting pieces out on the ground. Where did it go? Dude. Put the connecting pieces on the short one with the locks on the short side. Like so. And then with your handle sticking out, slide this vertical and cross slide in, center it up, center it up, quit sliding around, and screw tight. That helicopter, if you heard it, is a tour helicopter that goes up to the Red Rock Canyon mountain area, a sandstone mountain outside of Las Vegas. Got tours up there for the tourists. All right. Let's take all these pieces off. Mount this to the bottom. Alright, 
we've got there. Now to put the uh, motor piece in. The motor piece will slide onto that with the connecting piece, but horizontal, vertical. No worky. Not going to work. You're welcome. I appreciate all the thanks for making the mistakes so you don't have to make them. We gotta take this sucker out, flip it one quarter turn and put it back in so that connecting piece will slide down this. Isn't that just great? I don't know, you guys were there watching while I was doing it. Why didn't anybody say anything? Could have said, hey, uh, wait, you've got to have that turn that way. Aren't you guys looking at the book following the directions on this? Alright, quarter turn. Get my screw back. Make sure this is all square up. Tighten it up. Make sure the plastic tension piece is on the right side. Put it in with the brass threaded part in first. Slide it in. Spin it up. Halfway, all right. So this connecting piece with the locking side up top, because you don't want it to fall through and not be able to make height adjustments for your pieces. Set it up. Get it to an approximate height, whatever you're working on. Tighten that connection piece down. All right. So the final piece is we want to put on the milling bit. We do this last because we don't want to have a sharp milling bit milling around and taking slices out of your fingers. They are pretty damn sharp, pointy. And it's simple. Call it, call it locking nut. Slide it in the assembly, spin it up, get it hand tight, hold your motor still, grab your wrench, tighten it in there. All right, let's clear the table. Got the power supply right here, plug it in. Give it a spin. Here we go. Beautiful. Thank you for being here for me fumbling around and assembling this vertical milling machine. You've learned from my mistakes. Now go ahead and do it right. And stay tuned for the next video. We are going to try this out.